I know Rick was trying to keep my hopes boosted that this was gonna work. In fact, I kinda thought maybe we should just, you know, cash it in. We've tried, we've tried our hardest. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. Off in the distance, there I see the white spot of a pronghorn. He was bedded alone with cattle. Oh, everything looked good. Now my hopes come up a little bit, but I've been there before, so I didn't get too excited. We took off, plodding across the prairie. First we got within 150 yards, then down to 106, and then I got to feeling pretty good. Things were gonna happen. We knocked it down to 60, and I nudged Rick a little further. I said, cut it down even further. And he said, how about 50? I said, just keep going. Got to 50, the buck was still laying there, chewing his cud. You could tell, we, we started moving in on him, he'd stop chewing his cud, you know, so then I'd stop. You know, and once he started chewing his cud again and getting comfortable with us, then we just started moving in again, and, and that's how it works. That's how it's supposed to work. So what did Mark say? Let's push it a little further. Well, Rick wasn't quite up for that. He did take a few more steps, got us into 45 yards. I felt confident about that. I've been shooting well out to close to 60 yards. That's about my confidence zone. Settled down for the shot, ranged it again. He's 45, 46 okay. yards. He's still comfortable. He's chewing. He's good. Okay. Just take your time. Oh, right over him, didn't I? Just over him. Now, to say I was bummed would be putting it pretty mildly. I was more than bummed. I was about in a state of depression where they were gonna have to call the ambulance. But that buck spun around and kind of started angling toward us. He's gotta stop. He's gotta stop. He's coming in too close. That's okay. He's thinking all we are is a bunch of horses, Mark. Don't worry about it. Just get ready. Okay, here he comes. He's gonna be at 39. Good shot. Good shot. Look at that. He went, yeah, it went through its leading on the back. Good shot, Mark. Good shot. Sorry about he ain't that. going anywhere. Look at that, Mark. Woohoo! Good job, man! <laughs> Damn, we did it, didn't we? Woo! Boy! He's quartering to me. Now, on a big white tail or a big elk, you never take that shot. But I've had enough experience with pronghorns that a quartering frontal shot with a good broadhead is a killing shot. That's a pretty darn good sight. <laughs> oh, boy. And I mean, that rage broadhead skewered that buck perfectly. Man, he's a pretty buck, too, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's not super tall, but he hooks back, you know, and that's what a lot of people miss right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and he hooks back wide to the back. Hey, look at the extra horns. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, now that's unique. I've never shot an animal like that. Have you shot one like that No, no. I've never have. Good job. And I've, you know, I've shot a, I've shot a pickup load full of animals over my life. Yeah? This, none have flustered me quite like this one, but. Good hunt, Mark. Thank you, sir. That was as exciting as it gets. That's what's so neat about this strategy. You get to walk around, basically like you're taking a dog for a walk and see the country. It's a, it's a real aggressive hunt, yet it's not so aggressive that you're on your hands and knees getting cactus in your knees. This give you all the best of all worlds and you're gonna have one of the funnest hunts of your life. <laughs>